Food intolerances exist in children. We think about food intolerances as commonly as lactose intolerance or fructose intolerance, but even more so we're learning new things about things like gluten intolerance. Lactose intolerance is really uh, an inability to digest lactose, which is the milk sugar, rather than an allergic reaction that is generated by a protein. So in lactose intolerance, it's usually because you lack the enzyme lactase to digest this milk sugar. And as a result, you may have symptoms that include bloating, diarrhea, belly pain, and the child is just uncomfortable. Fructose intolerance really can present the exact same way. Fructose intolerance being a common sugar in fruit, but similar symptoms, belly pain, even diarrhea, can present in a child. Gluten intolerance is something that we're learning a little bit more about. So with some of these intolerance, we can test them. We can test for the malabsorption of lactose, or we can measure the enzyme level to figure out if you truly have it. But gluten intolerance, there is no really good test to measure gluten intolerance but you come across a patient who is having belly pain and eliminating gluten from the diet works. And this is in the absence of something that is organically causing it, such as an allergic reaction to wheat or celiac disease, which is an autoimmune disease that actually causes inflammation in the intestine. So gluten intolerance, however, doesn't actually cause inflammation or doesn't generate an allergic reaction. It just generates symptoms, and elimination of it leads to a better quality of life. If a patient is diagnosed with a food intolerance, I'll work with them to uh, change their diet, to take any of those foods out and replace them with foods that you know they can tolerate well, and just to ensure that they stay you know on a nutritious diet throughout the whole time. You know I'll work with them with their you know camp or school, um, you know with the daycare center, just to make sure that you know when it's out of the caretaker's hands and when they're you know away from the home that you know they they are compliant on the diet. The challenges uh, with working with children and dietary modifications is that some of these kids are picky eaters and they're not always going to want to take out their most favorite foods uh, and replace it with something that you know I tell them to and, and that's okay. So our initial plan might not always work, but we will edit and make it work. Here at the CADC, we work with many children who have food intolerances and the workup really involves identifying what the cause is. Sometimes it's eliminating other diseases from the possible list of diagnoses and really working hand in hand with the nutritionist who can help eliminate things from the diet and target it and work in a really um, combined manner to help the child. Because when it comes down to it, we want them to feel better. It doesn't matter if we have a diagnosis or we can pick out one little thing we just want the child to feel better.